raise the sash, engage the lots until they insert into the lot slots in the, into the jam on both sides, mm -hmm. retract the sash guides on both sides, raise the sash up above the carriers, once cleared the carriers, shift to one side and swing out the opposite side and remove the sash. The sash is now removed. A um, little detail of, of the mm -hmm. two-piece sash guide, how it works. It's, it's adjustable, push down on, on the top piece and it's retractable. So that's what we're, we're doing on both sides. There's actually a base underneath. If you press hard enough, you can remove the top piece. The base portion is screwed to the top rail of the sash. Mm -hmm. Simply engage it to, to reinstall. The balance either has one or two springs, or with a quad carrier, we'll have up to four springs uh, and, and four pockets for the springs. Make sure you fully grasp the carrier before unlocking the lock, the two-piece lock, because the springs are under tension and could potentially fly. Retract fully out and slowly, and, and keeping pressure against the jam, raise the carrier up. Now to get the, the spring removed from the jam, simply use a motion to move it up. Spring will not fall out of this carrier. You'll have to, to push it through. There's a small detent on one side. And that's your spring configuration. And depending on whether you're using one spring or two springs, three or four, you'll have appropriate slots matching what you're using. So now to reinstall, the spring hooks in an in a upward direction. Just takes a, a twist mo motion to to engage the spring into the slot. If you're only using one spring, always occupy the lowest pocket first. That'll give you full travel. If you use the upper pocket first, you could disengage the the carrier and the spring from the jam when you're raising the the, the sash fully open. Here's a two-piece lock. So when it's fully engaged, this tongue portion will occupy a wider dimension than the quarter inch dimension that's in the hole. Snap the carrier over the spring, extend down, make sure you grasp the, the carrier and put pressure against the jam. Slight pressure against the lock. So you'll find, be able to find the, uh, the hole. There you go, like that. Like so make sure, make sure it's fully engaged. Do the same on the opposite side. Take your sash, fully engage the sash into the jam on one side, swing the other side in. Lower down the sash and center it so to engage both the carriers at the same time. Extend your sash guides out and then retract your two-piece lock. With the first motion undoes the tongue portion and then lower down slightly and retract the bottom. And the sash is free to travel. always read with, with, with the sash guides here you can always center your sash up if somebody extends it out and this side inch crooked you can you can always retract them lock the sash and extend them all the way out so the sash guides smoothly 